Hello and welcome back to The Sims 4. Now in the last couple of episodes, we built a giant ass mansion which looks pretty good if I say so myself. And we also managed to accidentally age buff up to a teenager. But that's kind of worked out to our advantage, so I can't really complain. So, what's Rocco up to? Ah, he's working out because tomorrow, with any luck, he should get a promotion and he is just kind of frozen in place. Are you okay? What are you... Are you that's frozen in time. There you go, that's better. <laughs> what is that about? Okay, that's pretty damn weird. But anyway, he's nearly done that, so I'll leave him to his own devices. Everybody else is asleep. Uh, do they all need to be asleep? Mr. Bean doesn't really. You don't need sleep. Get out of bed, you lazy, lazy person. Uh, do you have homework to do? You you do have homework. Okay, so you go ahead and do that. Uh, I probably will age her up to a young adult, because I don't think school does anything in this game. But for now, we'll keep her a teenager. You never know, she might have some fun, and she is still in her swimwear. What are you doing? Change outfit to your normal everyday clothes. I've also updated her clothing to make it not look as ridiculous. She's not going to change the clothes yet, but okay. Now let me just quickly throw these dishes away. Generate some money. Fantastic. Oh, and before I forget, there's a few YouTube comments I need to respond to. Now, a couple of you said that I had forgotten the wizard fish and the bad fish. You'll be pleased to know, as you can see here, I did not forget them. But whilst building the mansion, I completely forgot to show you that I put them back in. But they're there, in their former glory above the mantelpiece. We have the wizard fish and the Gregory T. Bat the Third Esquire, which is still a fantastic name. But there you go, they are there. I don't know if I'll keep them in this position, but for now, they will stay there, nice and happy, in their brand new home. Also from Zero Fusion, he suggested I build a greenhouse for a bunch of cow plants. Now, I have been working, I haven't completed it yet, but I have kind of a greenhouse. They don't really have outdoor like glass panes, so I had to kind of make do with really big ones. But this is my greenhouse. As you can see, we have four little growing cow plants that have peed themselves for some reason. But there you go, they're going to grow up to be big and strong and try and kill my entire family. Now, I was going to add more than this, but you can't actually have any more cow plants because, as you can see, they take up an, un they take up an ungodly amount of room. As you like, I can't even put another ones down here, so we can have just four for now because that is a sufficient amount to kill my entire family. So that'll do for now. So, And then I do have kind of an evil plan to invite loads of people over for a party and let the cow plants lure them over and just slowly eat them alive. That's pretty cool. Uh, as you can see, I've made a, f a few adjustments to the patio. I've refined it a little bit, moved everything over. What am I doing? I am eating hot dogs at three in the morning. That's not weird at all. Yep, you're just casually eating hot dogs. That's fine. Uh, do you actually even need to do anything? He needs to browse intelligence. Okay, will you stop eating hot dogs? You'll find yourself in nearest computer, which is miles away. Let's go in DEFCON room. There we go. Pay $20,000 in bills? Jesus, I knew having a bigger house would mean bigger bills, but that's insane. Christ. Okay, will you go ahead and pay bills? And you do intelligence research. Thank God I'm now rich. <laughs> Blimey. Okay, well, there you go. You do intelligence research. Oh, and Netherbreaker suggested that I should add another secret door inside the master bedroom because, as you saw in the last episode, these doors aren't that secret and people nearly set off World War 3 during a birthday party and it was insane. So, I've been working hard and I crammed all this stuff into this little room here. As you can see, another secret door. So hopefully only I will be able to access this door this time. Uh, we've got a nice big TV there. It's like essentially just a man cave. And yeah, so I can go there, hide out, do work, have fun. Do whatever the hell I like, and nobody will disturb me. Although, that is the hope anyway. It's not going to work out that way, I know. But anyway. And lastly, from Ali Crystal, who suggested I need to add a cinema. Now, I will definitely add a cinema, but at the moment, there's only one TV that's available to me, which is this one here. Now, I've, I played around with a few of these, like put a couple together, I did... I tried to make like a big screen consisting of loads of these, and it didn't quite look right, so... I will get somebody, because I will show you again quickly, hold on. Yeah, as you can see here, the Plasmatron 3000, although 8 grand, it's got no bevel on the edges, which means if I stuck them together, it would look like a big cinema screen. So I'm going to get somebody to level 10 of Tech Guru, and then I'm going to get loads of those and make a giant cinema room. I won't be able to do it just yet, but that is definitely going to happen at some point. And also, if there's any comments I haven't responded to, I do apologise. My YouTube is currently exploding, and I'm only getting a few notifications through. So, if there's anything you'd like me to add, again, put in the comments below. But for now, I will resume the episode. Okay, so what is everybody up to? You are casually talking, becoming friends, that is good. I am incredibly tense. What, what is wrong with you? Why, why are you so tense? Promotion anxiety? 
Ambitious Sims feel pressure to keep climbing the corporate ladder. Well, good news, because you are one away from becoming the big chief. The big cheese, if you will. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so you keep working hard and you should. It won't be tomorrow, but it should be very soon. And then I shall be in charge of the entire secret service, which is kind of scary because I don't trust myself with that kind of responsibility. <laughs> Rocco is again scheduled for another promotion, which is very exciting indeed, so tomorrow he should become... I don't even know what level he is in promotion. Hold the phone, what are you... He's level 4 out of 8, he's already halfway there. Now that's pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, is anyone awake? Mr. Bean, you don't need to sleep, get out of bed and clean that my shit. There we go. You do that and then... Is that... what? What the hell? Is that... Did somebody stole part of my kitchen? Oh no, there it is. <laughs> I thought it was just completely gone. I was like, where the hell was my cabinet? Okay. Oh, and somebody made coffee and clear it out. Okay, you emptied out as well. There we go. And then, do we have anything? We have a BLT. Sounds good to me. And also, is there hot dogs? Damn it, who keeps making hot dogs and just leaving them outside? It's useless. Now I have to throw them away. You disgust me, people. Okay. Stick that in there. 60 bucks, fantastic. Oh, one of my cow plants is going dry. I need someone to quickly water it. You there. Okay, Mr. Bean. You will water the cow plant. Good out. Make sure they're all in good help working order. They are all pretty damn happy. Yep. How are you doing? Uh, yep, pretty good. This one here is he's okay at the moment, but he's getting a bit dry. So you go ahead and replenish him. Come on. Speed ahead. There we go. Fantastic. Good out. Right, you go off and get some food. As for everyone else, when do I have work? Hold the phone. Work in seven hours. Okay, not bad. Okay, so for my goal today, I intend to make Beth the best damn video gamer to ever have lived. She's currently going to the toilet, but her video gaming is level one. It's not greatly high, but we shall go on a computer, and I wonder if we can enter any tournaments straight away. Uh, play a game. Play, no, no, I want to enter a tournament. Hmm. No, okay. Well, for right now, you just play Blick Block. There you go. She will become the best Blick Block player in the entire universe. And then she shall move on to, I don't know, like League of Legends or something. I heard those guys are pretty damn good. Have you seen the StarCraft players? Well, if you ever watch a StarCraft livestream, don't watch what's going on on the screen. Watch the guy with the keyboard because he moves at ungodly speeds. I, I would love to be able to type that fast. It's insane. Oh, oh um, Mr. Bean is yeah, becoming an alcoholic and making... Is he just tending a bar? Why? It's, it's, we, don't, we don't want drinks. It's not a party. Go swimming instead. Swim around playfully. There you go. Have a bit of fun in the water. Good out. Why are you embarrassed? What have you... Privacy invaded? Oh, did somebody walk... Did Mr. Bean spy on you going toilet? Did that happen? You probably should report that. I, I wouldn't exactly trust him. Although Mr. Bean is a lovely person, he looks pretty damn shifty. And he's... I mean, is that... I, I wouldn't exactly call that playful swimming, I'd just call that swimming. Mm-hmm. Definitely just swimming. <laughs> Whatever you say. Don't cook food, you have food in the fridge. What? Oh, you've already half made it. Well, you might as well... Oh, now the option's gone. God damn it, fine. You just leave that there. You might as well resume making it. Why not? There you go. You've already brought the ingredients out, you bastard. Oh, and the gaming machine, of course. How am I doing? Intelligence research is complete. Fantastic. You go ahead and repair that for your daughter. She shall become the best gamer in all of the land, and you should have work very soon. Six hours. Blimey. The advantages of being the big boss. Mr. Bean has reached fitness level two. Fantastic. And Rocco has become a level three cook. Okay, so he's still not a fantastic chef in the world, but he's getting there. I mean, he seems to have made that without much trouble. It, look, it looks excellent, apparently. Hmm. Do you like it? Oh, he likes it. He's impressed. Good. Oh, fantastic. Alrighty then. How is Beth doing on the old blip block? She is basically just playing Tetris. You lost. You can't lose. You're a master gamer. You can't lose the stuff. Oh, and she's <laughs> she's late for school. Okay. You you go ahead and go to school. That's gonna happen a lot lately, I think. She's she's gonna miss a lot of school, I'm afraid. But it has to be done. If there's a choice between gaming and school, and my fridge is pissing everywhere, what the hell is happening? Mr. Bean, I need you. Come hither. What, what else going on? No, no, don't clean up the puddle. No, no, you stay at school. Mr. Bean, that's your job. Go. Clean and electrocute yourself. There we go. 
Fantastic. Let me just quickly drag the plate into the fray. What? I can't. What? What the blazes is happening? All right, fine. Glad your way. I'll move the plate this way, and then I, I can't physically. Is it you? Is it your fault? Are you being too efficient in cleaning up for me? Don't do that. No, no, don't put them in there. No. Oh God, damn it! I just wasted sixty bucks. Screw you. Fine. Okay, why am I uncomfortable? Unpleasant surroundings? Oh, is it because the fridge pissed itself? Probably. I mean, that's a good idea. I, I wouldn't touch that fridge because electrocution <laughs> may occur. <laughs> yeah, Annie, what are you? Okay. You are just cleaning everything under the sun. Oh, you repair that? Come on. There we go. No, no, no. Put that plate down. Put that plate down. Screw you. Put it down. Put it down right now. Drop the plate. I swear to God, I'll open fire. Where the hell are you go? No! Put the plate down. Put it down now. Oh, That's better. Ah, thank you very much. There we oh. go. Okay, Mr. Bean's about to get electrocuted. Rocco is looking quite proud. Why are you so confident? You're going to dance? You shouldn't dance. You need a shower. Work's about to begin for you. Go have a shower. Go use your shower. There you go. Actually, no. Take a steamy shower. Why not? There we go. Fantastic. Oh, what's this? A stressed teacher. The teacher has run out to pick up his medication, so he asked the class to sit quietly and do their reading assignment while he's gone. Should Beth do that or try to do some other homework while she has the chance? I think she should do some homework. Excellent. But did it succeed? That is the question. The teacher Aaron didn't take as long as he thought, so he comes back and sees Beth not doing the reading. God damn it. She gets a lecture on the importance of sitting quietly and following orders. Performance loss small. Well, screw you. I'm going to show you by becoming the best goddamn gamer in the entire universe. You have love and what am I? Am I, am I supposed to be at yeah. Three hours, oh, apparently. No. I really don't work that long, do I? Oh, the perks of being in charge. Huh? We're just happily chatting with Daenerys. Oh. Fair enough. Dimper How is dish. Daenerys doing? <laughs> She's doing pretty good to me, I think. Her writing, she probably should become a better writer. So, I'm going to stick you on the old computer over here. Write, it's, she's level five. It's, it's probably about time that she writes a book. So, you will write me a motivational book. Why not? There you go. You are confident, so you might as well. You know, make me millions. Excellent. Oh, hello, and another thing. Oh, it's the Agent Games again. The agency organized a day of friendly physical competition, but Bella's biggest work rival is using some dirty tricks. Bella needs to win and make it look fair. Should she use a few dirty tricks of her own or keep it clean? Now, last time we used dirty tricks and we failed miserably. I'm pretty sure we ended up coming last because of that. So we're going to keep it clean this time. And with any luck, the other competitor gets caught. Oh, and now we have to name the book. Okay, so it's a motivational book and the default title is Commando. How to ensure all eyes are on you. Well, that's the worst name I've ever heard. Get rid of that. And describing a book as this is a confident book is awful. So we're going to get rid of that as well. So we need to just come up for a name for a book. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so I kind of drew a blank when trying to come up for a book name. So I decided to look online for funny book names. And now I've come up with a few golden treats here. I'm not going to go for all of these, but I'll go for a couple. But How to Shit in the Woods. That is a genuine book you can buy. Um, people Who Don't Know They're Dead. The Big Book of Lesbian Horse Stories. I don't even. How to Avoid Huge Ships. <laughs> Quite why. Whose Bottom Is This? Reusing Old Graves. I mean, that sounds pretty sinister. These are all genuine books, by the way. I was tortured by a pygmy love queen. <laughs> what? <laughs> Living with crazy buttocks. That is genuinely a thing. I mean, I won't read any more because they do become pretty silly, but but I'm not going to lie. How to Shit in the Woods sounds like a pretty fantastic name for a book. So that's what we're going to go with. There we go. How to Shit in the Woods. Fantastic. Okay. How would I describe my book? Hmm. Okay, so I've come up with a description for this book, but it is fairly silly, I apologise in advance. But it was the best I could have done with the limitation in characters that I could have used. But anyway, ever gone camping and needed to poo but were too embarrassed? Well now with this new book, we will guide you all the way with tips, tricks and picks. There you go. How to Shit in the Woods will become a thing, and it will be a hit success, I can already tell. Okay, so that's happening. 
You are going to warm yourself in the fireplace. I mean, you live in a big ass mansion. You probably have the best central heating to ever exist. So you probably don't need to do that. Um, oh, yes. Bella wins fair and square because hard work and perseverance always beat underhanded techniques. Yeah, Bella surprised too. <laughs> Performance gained small, fantastic. So we actually did the right thing. Excellent. Okay, dokie. Well, I'm about to go to work. I think everyone's about to go to work. You're about to go to work. You are about to go to work. What are you doing? You're going to observe the sky. Fair enough. You are an astronaut. That is part of the job description. Uh, how is everybody else doing? Ah, she is, of course, writing her book. You yes, don't... Yes, sir. Okay, so me and Rocco are about to go off to work. Good out. So they're going to go off. Hopefully, Rocco will get a promotion. Uh, hopefully, I'll get a promotion as well, although I don't think that will happen for a couple of days. And when Beth returns from school, we shall go off on a little adventure. I want to make her as many friends as possible. But did I just get a phone call from who? Who could this possibly be? David Tennant would like to come and hang out. Of course this is okay. Come over. Come hang out. Fantastic. Alrighty then. Hello, Mr. David Tennant. He's going straight to the computer to watch porn. What is wrong with these people? <laughs> you... <laughs> what, has your internet got at your house? Is that, is that why you're here? Is that the only reason you're here? You useless bastard. Fine. And how is Beth doing at school? Uh, she is doing satisfactory work, but her teachers at Buckingham High think she could easily improve with just a few little bits of extra work. That's not gonna happen. Oh, and there's a stinky pile of trash. Throw that away. All right, Beth, how are you doing? Are you happy on all things? You are happy on all things. I think we should go out on a little adventure. So, let's travel. <laughs> okay, so I finally found somewhere with people to talk to. <laughs> Literally, I went to every other venue and it was either empty or full of old people. And that's not a very good place for teenagers. Okay, so they're going to talk, socialise, have some fun. Good. Oh, he looks pretty damn attractive, I'm not going to lie. You never know, could be an early boyfriend for Beth. Uh, show off. Let's brighten the day. Let's just be nice. For now, we'll just be friends. A couple of you suggested that she should maybe date another woman. It's, I mean, that's entirely up to you. I don't mind. If you're okay with that, just let me know and I'll definitely do it. Uh, Okay, what's his actual name? Art Bao. That's a fairly unusual name, but he is active. That's a good sign. He's not nasty, by the looks of it. Um, let's, she's energized. Good. Okay, let's just keep talking. Ask about your day. Have a deep conversation. <laughs> oh, they're having a great time. Okay, they're going off really well. Tell a funny story. Do loads of the good stuff. Complain about parents, of course. Even though they just bought you a mansion in a big-ass room. But, anyway. <laughs> Tell engaging stories, show off my outfits, even though... I mean, actually, no, get to know, that's good. Excellent. Infuse about interests. Ah, we also know he is creative. Okay, so two out of three traits are actually pretty damn good. I'm not quite sure what he's wearing. Is that like a fishing thing? Like a fishing overall? He's probably a keen fisherman. And he's a loner. Well, that's a bit of a shame. I mean, okay. No, it's fine. Okay. He's quite nice. He has to go home now, apparently, but that's pretty damn good. How are you doing? I don't even know what your name is, but I'm going to talk to you anyway. I'm going to ask her about Woohoo, for I am a teenager and I don't know yet. What's her name? Natalie Schlotz. That's very easy to say wrong. <laughs> and you're walking off as well. Well, screw you anyway. Okay. I tell you what, let's go back home, and if David Tennant is still there, then we'll go speak to David Tennant as well. But anyway, we've made a friend. That's pretty good. Let's head back to the Worcester household, and with any luck, Tennant will still be there on the computer watching a heinous amount of porn. Okie dokie, and David Tennant is still here. Fantastic. Well, you go ahead and you go make friends with him, because you two actually haven't met yet, have you? Yeah, that's very good. Okay, so get to know. Um, give pep talk, do all the good stuff. She's energized, infused about interests. You do all that. Uh, Bella... Daenerys is, I don't quite know, oh, you're mourning for Tyler. No, 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 don't mourn for Tyler. No, 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 she's not worth the time or energy. No, 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 no. You go off and do some more writing. Did you complete your book? That is a good, ah, David Tennant is ambitious. Good. Can you resume writing How to Shit in the Woods? <laughs> oh. Come on, then. There's many more books where that came from, ladies and gentlemen. And they're all going to get much, much sillier. Are you going on... What is, is this? Facebook? I oh, mean, that looks... What are you... Oh, yes. Browsing? I didn't even know. Okay, well, they're going to talk happily. How close am I to finishing work? I'm halfway from finishing. Now, Bella bought home 423 bucks, and she did some superb work. Fantastic. 
Uh, she doesn't look very happy though. Oh blimey. She's not having much fun. Okay, so when I get home we'll do a bit of the old woohoo, but for right now, you go off to bed and go to sleep. There we go. Good oh. Fantastic. So you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna do that. We're all gathering around well, David Tennant because oh my god, he used to be Nash. the doctor and it was amazing. And, oh, no, oh, my look at this. It's fantastic. I wonder if they've made um, a new Peter Capaldi yet in The Sims. That could be pretty Samba funny. Yelps. I mean, I might have to look for that at some point. I will definitely go through the gallery. Now there's bound to be new stuff, so we can so we can have a whole ho so we can have a whole new host of characters to mess around with. And also, we need to go visit the people in the mansion, don't we? The crazy man lady. I completely forgot about her. That needs to be a thing. Okay. Well, I'll let her do that for a while until she's too tired to do so. Because she does need to become a master gamer. Okay, David Tennant is still on my computer. What are you Luck. doing? Blimey. Okay. Well, you can stay there for now. Mr. Bean is warming himself on the fire. Oh, my computer's lagging out a little bit. This is a bit disconcerting. Oh, and apologies again for not releasing these videos as regular as I used to. I'm having terrible PC troubles at the moment. Uh, wait, what the hell? You're my bestest pal? What the? Oh my god, he's playing with the robot. <laughs> I was going to change this kid's room, but he seems to quite like it. Would you like to stay in here? I mean, you can have the room if you want it. <laughs> but anyway, yes. I've been having a horrible, horrible time recording PC games. Um, but I've just about got to the top of it for right now, and holy hell, I got a promotion. What the hell is this? Rocker has been promoted to a low orbit specialist. He will now make an additional $25 per hour and a grand total of $96 per hour. Pretty good. Um, I've got a portable galaxy light show. That sounds pretty good. And I only work four days a week. <gasps> Fantastic. Okay. Excellent job. Do I need to do anything in particular? Where am I? Win two chess games. Okay, I can do that. I mean, how do I win a chess game? I mean, I have to assume that's random because, I mean, how else? I mean, I can't, I can't physically play the game for him. Hmm. Oh, and I did superb work, but I didn't get a promotion. But with any luck. Yep, tomorrow I should get a promotion. Good. Oh, okay, so you quickly... Oh, you're asleep. God damn it. Fine. When you wake up, you do intelligence research. But for right now, you need to win two games of chess. So, play with... Hey, who's crap at chess in this house? Beth has never played a game of chess in her life. Fantastic. There you go. You're bound to beat her. Good. Okay, so you stop playing that and you go play chess with your brother. Come on. There we go. It has to be done. Even though she is cripplingly tired, it's fine. You go ahead and you play chess. Oh, what an achievement. Daenerys finished writing an entire book. The book will be added to her inventory for future reading enjoyment. Daenerys can also publish it. Just click on the mailbox. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. We will publish her book, no problem. Let's sell it to a publisher, shall we? Let's sell that, let's sell it to a publisher, and with any luck, it'll be a hit success. There we go, alrighty then. So she's becoming a famous writer by writing ridiculous books, and they are about to sit down to a nice game of chess, okay. So, now I used to be pretty good at chess in my time, but for right now, come on, that's it. You gotta actually move the pieces. Come on, move the pieces. Steve Charles is annoying. Play chess. Uh, but well, now she's walking away. What the? That better have counted as a win. What the balls? No. Okay. So she's too uncomfortable to play chess. Screw you. So, Mr. Bean, wake up. You, you will join the chess game, and I will beat you. <laughs> I am currently ch playing chess by. I am currently playing chess by myself, which is pretty damn impressive. Okay, here we go. So you go ahead and you beat a game of chess. With any luck, I'll win. If I lose to Mr. Bean, that'll be pretty damn embarrassing. And everybody else in this house is asleep, aside from Mr. Bean, who is now needed to go toilet. Okay, so you go off and do all that. How am I doing? No, no, don't go to bed yet. No, 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 no. You need to do some workouts. So, and I won the chess game. Fantastic, okay. Anyway. You quickly work out for a little- Oh, he's went to sleep, you bastard. No, you go to work. Oh, and he gave up at the final second. Ah, oh, you bastard. Fine. Okay, can I stick him on the treadmill, maybe? Ah, oh, I can't do work out while he's very uncomfortable. Ah, oh, damn it, fine. You go to sleep. There we go. You go to sleep with your lovely girlfriend. And then... You, he won't get a promotion this time, but next time he should definitely get a promotion. Okay, okay. Oh, and before I forget, my plan of making Mr. Bean a master criminal has not been opposed, so 
I think it's time that if I stick him on the old computer for a bit, if I make him find a job, then he will become a master criminal and generate me an ungodly amount of income, which is going to be fantastic. And they're all following him for some reason. Not quite sure why that is happening. Why? Oh, hello. Okay, here we go. I want to become a criminal. <laughs> Not every sim wants to play by the rules. You can make tons of simoleons and have fun too, as an outlaw. Career branches, boss branch, and oracle branch. Good. Okay. Ah, okay. And we need to become a tech guru for Beth, don't we? Because she needs to be an esports gamer. Excellent job. Okay. But for Mr. Bean, he must become a criminal. <laughs> Excellent. He starts at 5 p.m. Of course, because, you know, being a criminal, it's always best to work the night shifts when everybody else is asleep. Excellent job. Okay. And if we can, I'll best at school. When she comes home, I'll find out if she can become a tech guru now, because she might as well start leveling up now. You never know. Although she probably won't be able to because she's at school. Okay. But that's fine. And it's finally time to get rid of this crib, isn't it? Okay. Oh, what the hell is this? A big unit test is coming up in history class. Beth's been doing okay, but a good score would really boost her overall grade. Should she do her usual amount of studying, or study as much as she can? Study as much as you humanly can! But did it work? That is the question. Beth focuses hard and reviews all of the material, and it pays off big time. She scores higher on her test than anyone in her class. The teacher congratulates her on a job well done, performance gains small. Fantastic. Good up. There you go, it always pays to do a lot of research, unless you unless you research so hard that you actually fall asleep in mid-test, which has happened to a couple of my friends. But there you go. <laughs> Why are they talking in the bath? You're sharing a sandwich in the bath? That is, I mean, now Bella's going to walk in and think you're up to something. It's pretty weird. Now she's just got changed in front of you and she's now going to work. I don't even fucking, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, the Sims, they are just crazy today. Okay. Good cop, bad cop. The normal tactics aren't working on a particularly tough suspect. Bella needs to enhance this interrogation. Should she play a good cop or a bad cop? Now, Bella always succeeds when playing the good cop. And she did it again. After only a few minutes, the suspect gives up his boss, his boss's boss, and everyone else, and everyone else he's ever worked for. Performance gained small. Fantastic. It is going well, and you... Who broke my music player? Damn you to hell. That's a secret room. Only I'm supposed to go in there. Ah. Fine. To hell with you all. Now you're sleeping in their bed, you weirdo. Now you've got your own bed, you jackass. That one over there. I wish. The one thing I wish about this game is that you can assign people to beds. That would be fantastic. But alas, that is never going to happen. I'm going to have people sleeping everywhere and it's going to be crazy and all blimey. Okay. And I'll tell you what, whilst my sim's not doing anything, and he's fairly happy on all things, I think he should go out for a space adventure. Why not? Zero G workout. I can, up I can work out in space. Oh, that is fantastic. Oh, and I can upgrade my thing. Oh, that looks awesome. Expand fuel storage tanks or install landing stabilizers. Assists with successful rocket ship landings. Hold the phone. Does that mean I can fail? I don't want to die, but I also want to explore space. So you go ahead and explore space. Go right now. Go off, meet some aliens. Have some fun. Excellent. Okay. I'm borrowing my son's spaceship while he's at work. It's fine. He'll never know it's gone. Something's alive. Ooh. Rattle, rattle, crash. Martin is on the way back from the Comet Eson flea market when he hears banging inside his rocket's cargo hold. He thinks back through recent salvage efforts, nothing living, certainly. Should Martin call out or try and take whatever it is by surprise? Oh, this is... If it, I mean, if it's an evil... Na I mean, if it's an evil alien, then I could die horribly. So, hmm. What should I do? Okay, so after much consideration and remembering the last time we had a scenario similar to this, we need to try and take it by surprise because then I remember I gave it to some scientists and they researched it or did something with it. So, let's take it by surprise. Did I win? Did I die? Am I going to crash now? Is this a thing? Hello? Not dead after all! <laughs> oh. Martin crashes through the whole door, shouting. Something small and orange scampers behind a crate. Scanning the room, Martin sees that a display for a taxidermied alien he found is empty. Don't hurt me, a tiny voice cries. Four eyes peek from behind the crate. Martin lowers the pipe. And I have captured myself an alien! <laughs> Fantastic. Is it in my inventory? 
Do I have an alien? The stowaway? What the hell? I'm getting so many pop-ups today. This is insane. <laughs> Martin should have known that the alien statue was too good a bargain. The creature isn't dead. It's just a stupid juvenile that was dared by its big brother to pretend. Now it wants a joyride around the galaxy and a free lift home. Martin knows he could get charged with alien napping, but it's hard to refuse a four pleading eyes. Let's take it for a joyride, why not? I mean, it's a friendly alien, it wants to see the galaxy, so do I. It'll be like Star Trek. A joyride in space? What the hell? <laughs> okay. There's nothing like a wide-eyed kid to make Martin feel like a hero. Kicking the ship into hyperwarp, he blasts loops around the planet Tumutu until suddenly lights appear in the distance. Space cops. God damn it, space cops ruining everything. Martin could pull over and try to explain, or try to outrun them. Hmm. This is a precarious scenario. Do I? I don't know. Should I outrun them? Hmm. I think I should pull over because, I mean, again, it's a space cops. I was breaking the law, the space law, apparently. So let's pull over. I try and explain everything. You never know. Will I be arrested by space cops? Is this now being a thing? Oh, I'm back home. I'm safe. I'm alive. Hold on. Phew, the cops believe Martin and take this little orange buddy home. Now Martin can head home for himself and wonder how a simple trip to the flea market could go, could go so out of control. <laughs> well, that was pretty fantastic. We need to do that more often. We need to do that with Rocco because he is the official astronaut. But there you go. That was pretty damn fun. Alrighty then, let's continue on.